is AI going to take over your job? Well, it might. So what you gonna do about it? Hey everyone, my name is Vedanin, and in this video we're going to talk about the state of AI and what is happening for you and do you need to still learn how to code and how to develop AI or ML models in 2024 and beyond. Let's get started. Do you think that AI is going to take your job? Do you think that AI will be greedy as some humans are? Well, probably AI is not going to give a too damn sense about your job. And probably people that are using AI are going to be much more greedy and try to get you out of the job. So keep that in mind moving forward. Here is the current X or Twitter page of OpenAI. And as you can see, they're stating that OpenAI's mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. So we don't really know if and uh, when AGI or artificial general intelligence will be achieved or is, has already been achieved. But the mission states that this should benefit all of humanity. Well, think about it. Currently, OpenAI is providing its service and more specifically GPT-4 uh, with the web version of that. And then the API is prepaid. So the GPT-4 is paid subscription service. And then the API is also a prepaid service. So uh, what does this mean for all of the humanity? And do you think that there are people that can't really afford 20 bucks per month? I believe there are a lot of those. So how would you benefit all of humanity if you're actually setting a price tag to your services? Another important thing is the fact that the AI company are taking their training data from unknown sources and they don't really want to disclose what training data that they were using. So it appears to be a bit strange that the benefit of all of the humanity is done with something like this in mind. And yeah, another one by Elon Musk. Another cool meme, so I hope that you enjoy that one. You have probably heard about the term woke AI and probably have wondered about the benefits versus the negatives of such an AI. And I really like this tweet by Elon Musk. A friend of mine suggested that I clarify the nature of danger of woke AI, especially forced diversity. Keep in mind that forced diversity is uh, really something that I've seen from a uh, the last couple of models by Google. So it is interesting. If an AI is programmed to push for diversity at all costs, as Google Gemini was, of course, then it will do whatever it can to cause that outcome potentially. Yeah. So this is a real danger since most of those companies are training the data on uh, the training their models on their own and your input is doesn't li really matter as much so they can decide whatever they want to do with those models so for example quote ai uh here are the countries that uh, the quote tree is available at and as you can see um at least my com my common tree is not listed here i live in bulgaria so you can see that actually most of the European Union countries are not listed here. And there is a very nice meme about that. I'm going to show you. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you can read this on your own. Uh, if it throttles innovation, we will regulate throttling. <laughs> this is <laughs> really crazy. A relevance through regulation. I can do it, but I can sure as heck regulate it. So, this is the result of these types of regulations and uh yeah most of those people don't really know what the heck is happening so they just try to put their head in the, the sand and pretend like nothing is happening and this is the some of the more iconic examples of gemini these are at least according to gemini 1.5 german soldiers so yeah it, it looks like Gemini didn't have what it takes to create those relevant historical images. So think about it. Are you better off in the last couple of years? Do you feel that there is a complete equality between you and everyone else? Do you think that your food prices are getting lower 
or do you think that you can afford your living expenses a bit better compared to previously? Do you think that the worst three or four or 20, maybe even more years have been fair to everyone? And do you think that things are going to get even better? Well, I don't think so. So what can you do about it? So if someone or some people have access to AGI or ASI, do you think that they're going to create a much more equal system for all people, including you, your family, your friends, etc.? Or do you think that it might be the case that richer and powerful are getting much richer and much more powerful using AGI? Do you think that everyone is going to have access to AGI and you'll be able to have limitless possibilities? Well, what do you think really? So what is your plan? What can you do? Well, in my experience, I've seen that tinkering and learning in order to learn and understand is pretty much the best bank for your book. And something that I've seen throughout the years is that when you try to do and build some stuff, you learn along the way. And in that way, you adapt and become even much better compared to your previous self. Well, if AGI or ASI is much superior in knowledge, intelligence, etc., then is your tinkering and uh, experimenting going to be for nothing? Well, I don't really think so. In our case, you can, or in your case, you can try to use AI to help you speed up your experiments or try to tinker in a bit more ways. You can, of course, do some really deep discussions and strategize on how you can create a better version of yourself that is including AI. The release of most of the open source models, such as Wama 2, for example, uh, I think that uh, Elon Musk said that they're going to release Grok and other large language models, is a really nice way to have a look at what can you do with the models and your skills in order to create much more powerful models, learn how to program them and learn how to collect the data that you want and escape the walk AI by training with data that you prefer. Of course, there is bias there and something that you might prefer might not be unbiased as well. But still keep in mind that open source models are actually going to give you much more power compared to using something like OpenAI or even Quote or even Gemini since everyone has biases and their unbiased data is not that unbiased after all. So how can you use AI to create multiple sources of incomes? How can you defend yourself against possible layoffs and how you can build something that has much more safety, at least according to your profile, for you and for your income? Well, AI is the way, in my opinion, at least, and you can essentially learn how to use it much more precisely and much better, at least what you have in the open source world or something that is free or even cheap enough to try it out. So please keep learning about AI and keep learning about how these models are trained, how these models are deployed and how can you use them in production and how can you benefit from those and how you can apply the benefits of those models to all of humanity. Because I really think that AI can benefit all of humanity, but AI that is built by certain companies with certain agenda in mind that is not so public is something that I don't think is going to benefit as everyone as well. I'm going to leave you with something positive. I really believe that this is the case, that the world isn't getting worse or darker. On the contrary, the things are getting better and better, but you need to choose which people are the snag oil salesmen and which people are going to give you something that is going to be benefit to all of the humanity. So choose wisely. Thank you.